for, but they get distracted because of maybe they have a friend is telling them these, or someone said this about these, yeah. or say this thing that they get distracted, and that is why they lose focus. But if you want to trade them, explain to them this is the what I want you to do. Look at this, look at that, and you think they don't, you know, they they, they know better, but please tell them the reality that you don't want to suffer yourself okay what's the next question yeah so i i think he answered that but let's for me because of our video i have some things to say but i won't be able to say that so question four it says what role did your family play in ensuring you had a good time to study yeah my family play a good role especially my mm -hmm. wife she played a good role and sometimes i'll say i want to go out like i don't make my study long like that so I make it like, because I've been doing a lot of study, 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 study. So when I want to do an exam, I say I want like two hours. Yeah, I want three to go, hours. You know, three hours to go to the library. I go to yeah. a quiet place to read. And uh, I, I, you know, I balance things up. I still make sure that I attend to them, to the kids and all those things. And eventually she, you know, she needs help. She, she's human. Yeah. So I can't bring my problem that, oh, school, school, school without, you know, balancing the old thing. And if your parents can come over too, you know, they can be of help yeah. if you have the opportunity or someone, you know, helping and your community, maybe your church member and all those things, yeah. you know, they can, they help. can help. You have a supportive system that can help you. But you guys going to be, you know, the same page and, you know, try to balance things yeah. up and understand that you are working together, together. Mm -hmm. and she's going to school. I'm going to school mm -hmm. and I want to make her proud. And she wants to make me proud because she wants to be supportive. And every time I'm down, she encourages me. It can be anybody, so we, so we have to give our support to each other. Right. It so, can be me or you. And if you if you're a single parent, you know, you have to find someone like a supporter. Maybe yeah. your parent or you know someone that is very close to you, and to support can you, share you, hope, share you yeah, up. If you have a problem, you. share with the person. And let this person know so i was able to balance my family in my spiritual life also i was able to balance because and i can't do anything without god that's mm -hmm. one of the things i present everything to god my classes everything say he will give us wisdom you know you know even better than our teachers so that's what i usually you know base like that even with the exam that will come out lord help me you know reveal things to me so my spirituality i don't even churches i still go to churches i don't complain yeah. because the only time you know the best time ever is to be in the presence of god which is very important to me so i maintain those things together and my family they are very important we still go out we still do yeah, all those things you see our videos during vacation you know all those things so we still maintain that quality life because that's how we can get our strength and that's yeah. how we don't break down emotionally so he, he has already answered the part of how do you balance your spiritual journey was there a time your spouse felt you might be a little far away despite repeatedly telling them on how important it is for you to pass yeah oh, the, answer that one. yeah there were time you it felt it was a bit far away because of those classes evening classes sometimes i would wait for him sometimes i would sleep and i try to um put my energy on things that were productive that time those little things that i can do i put my energy because i know there is it's not going to continue forever like that there is a reason it's going to do this and it's for the betterment of the family. So there were times I felt it was far away because it would go and study and I would be with the kids doing other things. And that's it, guys. There were, there were times it was far away. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So we're going to be wrapping up this video. So Do please, you have anything to say about I want that? To, um, that's a, that's, you, you answer the questions. <laughs> you answer it all sometimes yeah. because I can't lie to you. Sometimes yeah. I have to do what i yeah. have to mm -hmm. do and that's just the world you gotta do what you gotta yeah, do yeah there, there were times around this period we are filming this uh, video in the night we will also be in the class with the with his uh, team members reading studying yeah and i'll just be on the bed alone 
yeah. things like that. But now it's no longer like that. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah. short little time. Yeah. Endurance. Mm-hmm. Just wait. Like, enjoy just it. Just for a little it's time. It's the last thing, things that you're going to enjoy. It. Look at it now. You know, like companies are reaching out to nurses. They, they say $80 an hour. You know, you know, contract job and all these things. Please, let's just go back to this a little bit. Look at what you are now, where you are now, and look at the future, how the future looks gonna look like. Are you just gonna continue struggling and be blaming yourself and say you can't do this or you know this this it's giving excuses why excuses will not feed you, will not feed your future, will not help you out in your life and you're saying saying okay you have something or this 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 and that. This is what is just gonna break you down. Excuse me, so I can't do this, I can't do that. You can do it. You have that strength, you have that enablement, you have that power. And God will not forsake you. He will not just leave you alone. But you have to push. Push it. Let's go see the seriousness in you. Let's go see that you want to do something. Even the evangelism work is not easy. And that's why you are complaining. You can't even go and talk to people about Jesus. And you want to now go to school. You have to push yourself. It's, nothing is easy. Push yourself. Do it. If you get a loan, you know that your income eventually will pay that loan. Even where you are going to work, the place you are working, they will help you pay the loan. Even you have the loan before, you know, you have income, sustainable income that will help you pay that loan. But don't have that excuse. Don't, that's what devil will be you know, giving to you. Excuses, excuses, this, this, this. this. Devil will never support your progress. Mm-hmm. It will just be bringing you excuses, giving you constraint, giving you this, this, and that is what you're gonna be dwelling on. You know, thinking about, saying that. But just say no. Enough is enough. Enough of lingering. And maybe a lot of people have been telling you, go and do nursing, or go and do this profession. And you know, the voice of human is the voice of God. Listen to them. There's a reason why. If I have listened, maybe the earlier time they told me to be a nurse. I will have been more, you know, far beyond this where I am. But I thank God for today that I don't allow my excuse to kill my vision. And I'm moving forward. Even I'm graduating from another, you know, school in December. And I'm going to slow down and my wife will take over. How about that? That is how we push ourselves. That's how we support ourselves. And that's how the vision can work. And that's how we want to show a good example that even when things you know people are not paying for our school fees or something like that we struggle and this is the challenge we're going to throw up to our children to let them know that you can do it there's nothing impossible maybe you are still with your parents and they are telling you to do this and do that you're having the best time or even maybe you are a parent also please you want to see the future of these children yeah and do something better so that you can give them a better the, future. The future. And don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Think about these children. Think about them. And want to give them the best life. You don't want to be dwelling on $10, $20 job, $22, $24, $25, even $30 job. Because the economy will not suit you eventually. The debt will be coming up and up and up. You can't you know, really enjoy your life. You can't just say you want to work three days and you're done for a week. No. You'll be doing overtime and overtime. Now your body will be telling on you, why don't you do something right? And just say, I'm doing it. And I'm doing the best things ever. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you want to reach out to us, please reach out to us. And we give God all the glory. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.